Welcome, welcome, welcome to another live edition of the now International Bible Radio Show, The Bomb of Gilead. I am your host, Brother Julius, traveling mercy with Brother Will, but I know he's watching. Pull over on the side of the road, Will, and acknowledge the people when you get a chance. Man, I am Brother Julius again, your teacher tonight from the Israel of God, headquartered here in Riverdale, Illinois, where our senior pastor is Brother Henry Bowie. And tonight, my reader, my brother in the faith, he's back, sisters and brothers. Brother Andre, a.k.a. Dre Dope, is in the house. Good evening, brother. How you doing? Good evening, grace and peace, Bon McGillead family. Uh, it's good to be here. Praise the Lord. Get ready. This is going to be a good one, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Sisters and brothers, I want to first acknowledge my brother from... Uh, last week, my brother Josh Warren, man, shout out to you, brother. Wonderful lesson. If you didn't see it last week, sisters and brothers, go back and watch that episode. I had to watch it again, brother Josh. I had to watch it and I had to post it and share it again. Thank you, brother. Man, shout out to all of the Bob Gilead fans and top fans around the world. Man, I see on here, uh, people be on here early, Dre. Welcome, Brother Corey Israel, Brother Mark P. Donna, the Paquins are in our Donna and Kevin Paquins are in the house. My sister Cheryl Thomas, how you doing? Sister Crystal, the Bioc Rogers, Willie Denny. Oh man, uh, my sister from Carolina, Crystal Well. Hi, Salita. Uh, sister Jackie, my brother Drake, Mike Alexander, Dre Day. Shout out to uh, hey. OG Security in the house, Peter <laughs> Brown. Man, how you doing, Sister Antoinette from Cleveland? I'll be cleaning. My sister Brenda. Hi, Sister Brenda Beauclair. Welcome. All, welcome all of you from my brother from another mother, Pastor Johnson, all the way from Fort Lauderdale, Bethel House of God, and IOG affiliate. How you doing, Pastor? Coach. Pastor Johnson. Well, there's a coach, there's a team. How you doing, sister? Oh my gosh. I want y'all to get ready. I want y'all to like. I want y'all to share this one. Please share with your local pastor. Whoever it is, call your relatives. Let them know. Man, the bomb of is on the air. Somebody going to be offended tonight. It is not my intention. The word of God is going to offend tonight. Tonight's lesson is entitled, Basic Instructions Before Life Eternal. B. I-B-L-E. Basic instructions before life eternal. This lesson, because some people use it, I've heard the acronym, Brother Dre, that basic instructions before leaving earth. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We're going to disprove that tonight, system, brothers. Yes, We're going to tell you that everything that has and will happen is going to on the earth. It's going Because the Lord created the earth sisters and brothers. But the bottom line is, this lesson was born off of a conversation that I heard on Clubhouse. My brother Jacob and some more brothers was dealing with, I don't know if they were Christian apologists, but their subject matter was sort of like um, 
uh, how many gods is it? I don't know if that was because I came in on the last 30 minutes of that of that session on Clubhouse. It was not on keeping it Christian's uh, room. It was not on keeping it Christian. It was on somebody else's room and Brother Jacob was invited in to speak and they kept muting his mic. They would not let him talk. They and 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 they kept mocking. Oh, y'all Christians, y'all thought y'all were Hebrew Israelites. We're going to teach y'all. Ain't but one God. Ain't but one God. But all the things that they were saying, they were saying, and they went to the scripture to show there's only one God, but nobody, nobody gave me a definition because I wanted to get in on that. And I would ask them, give me a definition of the word God. Give me a definition of the word God. But they never got to me. I don't know if they didn't see me. But the bottom line is Brother Jacob handled it. Good evening, Pastor Johnson. Starshima McGregory. Carolyn Jenkins. Lakita Davis. Good evening. Eartha Finley. Finley. Uh, um, uh, Matrinda Israel. Anthony Jenkins. Jess No Chill. Yadira Hadassah Israel. Helen Beasley. Good evening. Great. Let's open up with Isaiah 61. Yes, sir. Isaiah 61, because I put it out there on Facebook that some will be drawn and some will be driven. Some will be drawn. And the problem with the world today, sisters and brothers, Brother Dre, is they don't think that God has his priest today. We have, have, been, have absorbed so much false doctrine that when you put the truth on the table, they can't handle the truth. Mm. You can't handle it. They couldn't handle it with your with the prophets. They could not handle it when Jesus came in the flesh. And now we, the remnant of his people, they can't handle it now. That's right. They can't handle the truth, sisters and brothers. They love lies, man. Smooth. Because, because exactly, my brother, because the Bible said that men love darkness rather than light. Mm-hmm. Don't speak unto us uh, 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 truth. Speak unto us smooth things. Lie to me. Prophesy deceits. Prophesy deceit. Exactly. Isaiah 61 verses 1, 2, and 3. When you get it, brother, go ahead. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Yes. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Yes. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Yes. To proclaim liberty to the captives yes. and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Yes, Dre. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. Uh-huh. To comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yes that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Amen, brother. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, and to the doing of his holy word in the mighty name, Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. We pray and give thanks. I pray that someone will be edified. If I have any hecklers on here, heckle on. But as a reminder, I got to tell you that every word that you say and every word that you type will be held against you. I can read that to you, sisters and brothers. I can read that to you. My brother from Phoenix, LeVance, Jehoshaphat, good evening. Man, Dre, the purpose and the theme of this title, the title of this lesson, Basic Instructions Before a Life Eternal, is, is it's a whole lot of things. It's layered, Dre. It's a whole lot of things built in. It's built into it. But it is, to me, a rebuttal lesson. I hope those people from yesterday are listening. I hope they get wind of this. I hope they get wind of this. Because what you did, uh, brothers, what is what is you mocked. We can't stop nobody from mocking. But what we're going to do as watchmen is warn you from God. God is not mocked. It is also written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Be careful because you don't understand. You, you mock because of what you hear. Let's go. Let's go. So the purpose of this lesson tonight is to prove through scripture, sisters and brothers, 
through scriptures and testimonies that God's book can be trusted. The <coughs> number one, pardon me, the number one best-selling book in the world is the Bible. Yes, sir. It is the number one most misunderstood book. The more, the number one most, how do you say, most, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It is preached, mistalked. It is the number one stolen book in the world. It is in, it is in hotels. It is in hospitals. It is in bookstores. It's in libraries. Two million, or I'm sorry, 20 million copies of the Bible are sold each year. The average household, according to the Pew Institute, have at least three to four Bibles. Three to four Bibles. I know because I go through them. My Bible started out real thin, and then by the time I get done with it, it is full of my dirty hands because the pages are swollen up from studying. But we're going to put the Bible to test tonight. We're going to show you that it is indeed the lowest book. It is indeed an instruction in righteousness. And we're going to show you what that righteousness is. Brother Dre, let's go. Isaiah the 34th chapter. Let's be obedient to the word of God. And again, tonight's title, Basic Instructions Before Life Eternal. So this is more than just a title. It is led with things and it would do us real good if we obey what the Lord said. Isaiah 34, and just give me verse 16, my brother. Isaiah 34 and 16. This is the instruction to the prophet that God chose with his own book. The KJB is the number one selling Bible in the world. Where all these versions come from? It is one true version, but it's many interpretations of that version. Because no matter what kind of Bible you get, it's going to start with, in the beginning, God. It is the English, which is a stammering tongue and a stammering lip that the Lord told us he would speak to us in. Let's go, Dre, 34 and 16. Go ahead and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Why? my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Seek ye out of the number one instruction. The first instruction is to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, sisters and brothers. The Bible is the book of the Lord. It is the mind of the Lord. And let me show you what the Lord told you. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the 8th chapter, Dre. Let's go to Deuteronomy, chapter 8. I'm sorry, Dre. Let's go to Deuteronomy, chapter 4. Chapter 4. Deuteronomy, chapter 4. Because I want to go, because the book says, from Genesis to Revelation. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. I told you in the, on the Facebook system, but I put a Facebook out there. Some would be offended. If you are reading the Apocrypha, it is not, I repeat, it is not the book of the Lord. Who authorized it? The book of Enoch is not the book of the Lord. Who authorized it? Who wrote it? The lost books are not the books of the Lord. There is no salvation in them. The Quran, the Quran is not the book of the Lord. People say, well, that's, uh, that's, uh, Ish it can't be Ishmael's book. And then some brother, or uh, sister asked a question last night, Dre, on question and answer. And they said, well, uh, 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 if everybody, if Israel is supposed to be circumcised the eighth day, how come Ishmael was not circumcised the eighth day? Tell them why, Dre. Tell them why Ishmael was not circumcised on the eighth day. Because the covenant wasn't given until 
Ishmael was 13 years old. And how old was Abraham? Abraham was 99. So who got circumcised the same day? Hey, they got both got circumcised the same day that it was given. So how you gonna circumcise a child at eight days old when the child wasn't even uh, was already born? Mm -hmm. Only the priest can give you an answer like that. It's right. Only there. the priest of God can give you an answer like that. But it's like you said, Jay. We got to seek ye out of the book and read. It's all there, but if we ain't gonna read it, how are we gonna get it? Now. You go to and do the test, sisters and brothers. So now you go do the test. The Lord didn't make the covenant with Ishmael. The Lord made the covenant with Isaac. How old was Isaac when he got circumcised? Isaac was eight days old. Bro. How old was John the Baptist when he got circumcised? Yeah, brother, same thing, eight days. And how old was Jesus the Christ when he got circumcised? Eight days, brother. Because the covenant was already in force. Yes, sir. But before, before Abraham, Abraham was 99 years old, sisters and brothers, when he got circumcised. And, and, and Ishmael Jay. was already 13 years old because Ishmael is Abraham's firstborn. So Ishmael didn't have the Quran. Ishmael had the God of Israel because Abraham taught his son about the Lord Jesus. The Lord made a covenant with Abraham. So Islam didn't come out of Ishmael. It had to come from someone down his seed Passed right. down, but not from the God of Israel. You can't have a capital at Mecca and a capital at Jerusalem. I told mm. you some going to be driven away from this program. Do your research, sisters yes. and brothers. Dre, Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. Yes, sir. First one, let's go. Because it really hacked me off, sisters and brothers. So if Brother Julius have a little bit of an answer, because I've been called a doom and gloom. No, what I am is a watchman, and my job is to warn the people from God. And that's a two-edged sword. One side for the people and one side for the priest if he mess up. Either way it go, the word of God cuts. And when I'm teaching, I'm bleeding too. That's why I cannot say that I'm saved and born again already because I'm still flesh and blood. Dre, Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Let's go. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments, which I teach you uh -huh. for to do them, that uh -huh. you may live. And go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Go ahead. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it. Don't add to it or don't take away from the word of God. Mm -hmm. There are repercussions for that. Go ahead, brother. That ye may keep my comm the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. That the, which I command you, thou shalt not add to the book of the Lord, neither shall you take away from the book of the Lord or the book of the law of God. Yes, sir. It is not Moses' law. It is the God of Israel, what he dictated to Moses and to all, and everybody in between until John. Dre, let's go and let's go to the see where did we read it in the law let's go to the testimony do revelation the 22nd chapter deuteronomy i'm sorry revelation 22 dre and let's read this and keep in mind sisters and brothers instructions in righteousness man pick it up at verse 18 revelation 22, the last book of the Bible, and pick it up at verse 18. I'm sorry, 16, Dre, 16. Go ahead. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. Uh -huh. I'm the root and offspring of David, uh -huh. and the bright morning star. I come through the lineage of Judah. I, Jesus, have sent my angel. He told you to testify to, unto you these things in the churches. He told you, we open it up with Isaiah, the 34th chapter. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Not a one of them shall fail. For his spirit, that angel, has gathered them. Yes, sir. Skip down bro. Skip to verse 18, Dre, and go ahead. But I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. No, just Israel. Just Israel. 
unto every man. Go ahead, brother. Hear it, the words of the prophecy of this book. Uh -huh. If any man shall add on to these things, uh -huh. God shall add on to him the plagues that are written in this book. So he going to give you leprosy. He going to give you, your bowels going to fall out. He going to look at the plague that hit the, uh, the person in their feet. There was disease in their feet. He can hit you with blindness. He can hit you with the plagues that are written in his book on top of you going to the lake of fire with your own sins, along with the skin worms. Remember everlasting torment on top of the sin that you did in this world, in this flesh and blood body. I'm going to add to you in your torment the plagues that are written in this book. Go ahead, Dre. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this uh -huh. prophet, uh -huh. I shall take away his part out of the book of life. I'm going to block you out of my book. You can have your name written in, but you can, your behavior can and your speech can have you blotted out. You yes, can sir. blaspheme the Lord to the point where he will give you a reprobate mind that you might be down. That, that means to speak and call the Holy Spirit a lie. When you call the spirit and, and the words of this book line, man, that, that's a sin that cannot be forgiven in this world, neither in the world to come. When you sit yourself in the seat of God, you put yourself in the seat of God. Go ahead, Dre. And out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. So you're not going to be in the good part of the kingdom. You're, gonna, you're not going to be in the holy kingdom. You're going to be in the lake of fire. Along with Satan, one thing about the lake of fire, it's always room for another one. It's going to be a part of the kingdom of God on this earth. But people don't believe that because they have been taught that the devil is red with horns, with a pitchfork, with, with pitchfork, with things. Uh -uh, he's a cherub angel. He's a cherubim angel, sisters and brothers. Dre, let's go to Deuteronomy, the 10th chapter, uh, the uh, 30th chapter. Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy chapter 30. The Lord told you to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. The question is, where can I find the book of the Lord? Where do I got to go get it, sisters and brothers? These are instructions. Here's an instruction number two. Deuteronomy 30. And let's start and pick it up at verse 10, Dre. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 10. Let's go. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law. Oh, and man. B-I-B-L-E. A compilation. The definition of the Bible is a compilation, a binding of books. A binding of books. If thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord through his word, sisters and brothers, the Lord is speaking to you through his word. 58 years old. I've never heard God's voice in my life. When I want to know what's on his mind, I go to his book. Go ahead, Dre. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law that you cannot add to or take away from because that makes you a false prophet or prophetess. Go ahead, Dre. And if thou turn unto the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, with everything that is within you, you got to turn to the Lord. You done tried your way. You have done everything that you want to do. You have tried your way and you're still unhappy. The Lord says, seek the Lord while he may be found. The book said this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him from out of all his afflictions, Dre. Yes, sir. Because he turned to the Lord with all his heart. That means that you got to have a contrite spirit. You got to have a repentant mind. The Bible says, this Bible instructs us, No, Jesus said, no man can come to me unless my father draw him. But the world says, come as you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it depends upon the situation. Are you going to come to the Lord with a, a nasty, filthy attitude? Are you going to come into his house any kind of way? Or did he tell you to reverence his sanctuary? Great, go ahead. Verse 11. For this commandment which I command thee this day is not hidden from thee, uh -huh. neither is it far off. Well, it well, is we, not we, in we don't have to go where, Dre. We don't have to go where. 
It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it onto us that we may hear it and do it. Go ahead, Dre. And is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, who shall go over the sea for us and bring it onto us that we may hear it and do it. You don't have to go to Jerusalem. You don't have to go. The Lord got this book published in every language. Because if my house is going to be a house of prayer for all people, I'm going to make sure because I created the nations, their languages, and their speeches, and I gave the nations their inheritance. You ain't, I'm going to make sure that all nations have a part of it because my house should be called a house of prayer for all people. Israel, we got to get away from this beggarly thinking that only we going to be saved. No, you can't read that. The only Israel going to be saved because that would contradict the book. Oh, my goodness. Where's the word, Adrian? Where is it? Verse but 14. the word is very nigh unto thee. What's, In what, what's, mouth, near us? what's near us? The word. Read, brother. Is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart that thou mayest do it. Because the Lord said, I'm not going to give you the fringes no more. I'm going to put my law in your inward part so that you can, so now you're going to have to blame yourself if we don't make it. Lord ain't going to look at your friends because your friends didn't stop you from sinning. The animal sacrifice law didn't stop you from sinning. But my word in you, now, that's what's going to set that's going to either get you in the lake of fire or get you into the kingdom of God. Go ahead, Dre. 15. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. And then I command I thee. I set before you life and good and death and evil. What, Dre? And that I command thee to this day to love the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in his ways, yes. to keep his commandments. Yes. And statues and his judgment uh -huh. that thou mayest live and multiply and yes. that the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whether thou goest to possess it. Sisters and brothers look at because we as a nation didn't do that. He gave you Deuteronomy 28 chapter verses 16 to 68 and showed you the punishment of not and the curses for not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, sisters and brothers. Dre, we got to go and see what this commandment is. Let's go to Exodus, the 20th chapter. This is why we open up with Isaiah, the 61st chapter. But we're going to go to Exodus, the 20th chapter. Because no matter where we go, it's going to be good. I see, I've set before you this blessings, this curse. Exodus 20 is the chapter. Begin, we're going 1 to 17, where we're going to read all of this. <laughs> and brother, I see, I said before thee this day, blessings and curses and the penalties. Go ahead, Dre. And God spake all these words, saying. No, 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 no. Is this the Mosaic law? Because they tell me, these so-called scholars tell me the Mosaic law. Who doing the talking? God is. Go, brother, go. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, yes. out of the house of bondage. Thou should have no other gods before me. Thou should not make unto thee any graven image, uh -huh. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, uh -huh. or that is in the water under the earth. Because if you make it, if you make it, you're going to bow down to it and you are going to worship it. How do I know? They took the brazen serpent that Moses, the Lord told Moses to make, and they began to worship it. Yes, they did, brother. Then they told, uh, the Lord took Peter, James, and John into a high mountain apart and showed them him coming in his glory. What's the first thing they said, Dre? Let us make an altar. Israel, we always want to worship 
the image instead of obey the word of God. The Lord didn't tell you to make an image. The Lord said, this is my beloved son and whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Yes, sir. Hear, O Israel. Hear ye him. That I'm telling you what that lesson did to me. What I heard, it really hacked me off, sister brothers, because you got these people, these children playing with the word of God. Come on, Dre. Verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. Uh -huh. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, uh -huh. visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Of them that hate me. When you turn from the two and living God and you begin to worship the thing that you can see, taste, and uh, hear, and, and smell. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You worship the creator and not the created. That's why when you open your prayer, you say, our father. You are reverencing and acknowledging him and where his position is. Because he said, my ways are as high as the heaven is above the earth compared to your ways. You are from below. He said, I'm from uh, above. My thoughts are not like your thoughts and my ways are not like your ways, sisters and brothers. And this is the problem. Because we, when you, and then you're going to, the brother go tell me it's 613 laws. I said, but the Lord only gave you 10 to keep. But brother, 613, you can't keep 10, let alone. So now you done broke the 10. All of a sudden now you're going to break 613 of them because it is within you. Why? Because men love darkness rather than light. You find problem with the Ten Commandments and then you lie and say you can't keep them. But the Lord told you, I will put no more on you than you can bear. Dre, let's go. Come on. Come on. I got to calm Verse down. Six. Go ahead, brother. Lord, mercy on to thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Who get, the, who get the commandments? The ones that love him and keep his commandments. But they mercy. told me. But yesterday, the, the person said, we're not under the commandment. We don't need the commandment. We're under grace. Mm. I'm going to tell you, sir. Jeff, you are a victim of what Peter warned you about Paul's writing. He told you, Peter told you, that Paul's writings are hard to be understood. Because you're going to take it, you're going to wrestle, or you're going to twist it to make it fit your format. Jay. Yes, sir. Come didn't, on, Paul, didn't, didn't Paul say, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? How God you know, forbid. God forbid. How can you don't read that? Hmm. Grace keeper? Exactly. <laughs> Why not? You ain't going to be judged by grace. You're going to be judged by the things that are written in this book. The Ten Commandments. And the book says that he added no more. Come on, Dre. Come on, Dre. And show the grace of the thousand of them that love me and keep my commandments, not my grace. Read, Dre. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Uh -huh. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. How do you know, how do you take the Lord's name in vain? When you know his commandments and don't do them. The commandments mean nothing to you. You can't be no part-time Christian. And you can't resign and resign out of office. You have to die out of office. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. How do you do that? But not keeping his commandments by going against him. Lean it to your own understanding. The Lord told you in Proverbs, lean not to your own understanding. Trust in the Lord and do good, sisters and brothers. Now you got the Lord's attention. But when you lean to your own understanding, you just got you another God. You know, that little one, that little angel, fallen angel called Satan. Because no man can serve two masters. Dre, verse 7, verse 8. Now, 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 Dre. The, the one of the most important commandments, instruction that the Lord gave, basic instruction. And the people will tell you, the average person will tell you, well, uh, brother, sister, when is the Sabbath day? Well, it's supposed to be Saturday, but we go on Sunday. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's supposed to be? Where you read that at? The Lord said the Sabbath day is we, well, let's read it, Dre. Read, remember what? 
Verse Remember seven. the Sabbath day the to only, keep it holy. The only commandment out of the 10 that started with remember. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That means that we have to get away from our own conversations. We have to, the, the law won't holiness system, brother. Holiness is righteousness. His law, statutes, and commandments. Even he told Moses, take your, and Joshua, take the shoes off your feet for the ground that you stand on is holy ground because the Lord is among you. What you eat and what you drink can make you unholy, sisters and brothers. It's in the dietary law. Yes, sir. The, dog, the Lord said, don't make yourself abominable. Drink. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Go ahead. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Uh -huh. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. In it. Thou... In it. Yes, you sir. can't have Saturday and Sunday as a Sabbath day. The Lord told you plain in the language with stammering lips, the English tongue, that the Sabbath, the seventh day is the Sabbath. Sunday is not the Lord's day. I'm going to say it again. Sunday is for sun worshipers. That is not S-O-N. That is S-U-N. His son's day. Dear Solis. Day of the sun. Not the son of God, but the orb that he told you he created in Genesis to give the greater light upon the earth. And, and what they done done, the church at Rome done made an image of it, a sun disk in every Catholic church, and now they are worshiping it. And telling you that that's the Lord's day in their communion. Mm. Uh-uh. The seventh day is anything other than that ain't. I'm sorry, proper English isn't or is not. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. If God is your God, then you're supposed to go to church when the, uh, uh, the Sabbath day begins Friday at sundown. Yes, sir. So your service can be begin at sundown, and it ends at, at sundown on at the end of the Sabbath day. Sundown begins on Saturday. What we call Saturday begins Sunday. Because the Lord told you in Genesis, the first chapter, that the evening and the morning makes a day. Somebody done told you wrong. Somebody done told you 12 o'clock midnight is a new day. No, the day already began at sundown. Nonetheless, another time. Dre, man, skip down to verse 11 and go ahead and read. No, no, read that, brother, because we got to get somebody else in here. Because Israel, listen, Israel, you people who are hating Gentiles and spending vitriol, listen. Listen, verse 10 again. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Read right In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Do none Israelites have to keep the Sabbath day too? Absolutely. And if he keep the Sabbath day and keep the Lord's statutes, judgment, and commandments, he also will have a right to the tree of life. Anybody, anybody that kicks and speaks contrary to that is a liar and the truth is not in you. Read, right? For in six days the Lord made heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that in them is. Uh huh. Rested the seventh day. Uh -huh. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Then why are you going to church on the first day of the week? Mm. You're Look not right. a Christian. You're not a Christian. You are a son worshiper. Jehovah Witnesses have services on Saturday and Sunday. They got two Sabbath days. But that is a doctrine of error. Presented by their founder, their false prophet. Yeah, I said it. Good. Dre, Dre, man. Verse 12. Now, let's get into social media. Let's get into the real social media. The social media. You know, so you have social studies, how men live with men, how people live with people. The Ten Commandments is two laws. Ten laws, which are two. Love of God and love of neighbor. Who is your neighbor? 
anybody next to you, your husband, your wife, your co-worker. Oh, by the way, the Lord said that he that hated thy brother without a cause, especially without a cause, you are a murderer. Mm. How you going to hate what you didn't create? Let the Lord do hate you. He's perfect at it. Let the Lord do the killing. He's a he's he's a professional at it. Dre, verse, verse 12. Read it. Now let's look at how man should live with man. Go ahead, Dre. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. That is a law, and that's a judgment. That's yes. a statute. Maybe young people are leaving here. Or they're dying early. Maybe they dishonored their mother or father somewhere. Maybe, 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 maybe. Man, honor thy father and thy mother. It don't say if they're a dope fiend. It don't say if they're a crackhead. It don't say if they're alcoholic. Honor thy mother, thy father. This is an instruction in righteousness. Whatever they're doing or whatever they have done, lead that judgment to the Lord. Because you don't have a kingdom to them. But you can get yourself blotted out of the book of life by breaking this right here. Get yourself cut off or killed early. Read, Dre. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not Thou kill. That means you don't do no murder. Because Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, tell you there's a time to kill and there's a time to refrain from it. You don't do no premeditated murder. Well, they offended me. I'm going to kill them. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Because blood going to touch blood. Blood going to touch blood. Be careful, sisters and brothers. Lean not to your own understanding. Go ahead, Dre. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Get your own wife. Get your own husband. Be happy with the, work it out with the person that the Lord gave that you said, I do too. I don't care if you got lost, married in Las Vegas. It ain't the location. It is the word that came out of your mouth when you said, I do. Then you put God in it, so help me God. <clears throat> you made a covenant with the wife of your youth or whenever you got married. Go ahead, Dre. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. These are the laws and these are the judgment. Thou shalt not steal. Why don't you go to Joshua and look what happened to Achan? Got his, himself and his whole family killed. Go ahead, Dre. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. You don't want nobody lying to you. You don't lie to them. You know, don't bear false, false witness. Let your yay be. If somebody gives you something, yeah, they did it. But be right about it. Hopefully there's another witness on top of that. Don't bear false witness. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. Come on, Dre. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his uh -huh. ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. That is anybody that next to you. Get your own husband. Get your own wife. Get your own car. Get your own house. Get your own rims. I got to have that. Man, I wish I had them. No, no, no. That is, no, 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 no. Get your own. Don't covet. Don't covet. Don't covet. That, uh, anything. This is the law, sisters and brothers. These are the instructions in righteousness. And in keeping them, you will receive life eternal. And if breaking them, you're going to get eternal life in the lake of fire. Either way it goes, you're going to live forever. And you ain't going off this earth way and up into up there. He gonna bring heaven down. Dre, we gotta, we gotta go, man. Second Timothy the third chapter. Second Timothy three. You still with me, brother? I'm with you, brother. Second Timothy three. I can give you, a, sister, brother. I can give you a real soft lesson on the fruits of the spirit and love. <laughs> but that's not my subject matter. I hear people talk about love so much. These false prophets are loving you to death. God is love. The commandments oh, is love, Jay. Yeah, the commandments is love too. The Lord is trying to love you to life, and these false prophets are loving you to death and giving you a carte blanche card to sin. And telling you you don't have to keep the commandments. You under grace. Get what away from that preacher that? real quick. Mm. Like the lady told me. Brother Julius, the Lord made me a prophetess. He sent me to tell you that somebody in your house is sick. Okay, sister, I got one question for you. Where's your head covering? What are you talking about? Okay, have a good day. Dre. 
2 Timothy 3. Oh, by the way, sisters and brothers, somebody in everybody's family is sick. Might not be your immediate family, might be your cousin, might be your relative. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Why did the Lord give us all the scriptures? Go ahead, read. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Uh -huh. It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness. All That's scripture. Good. Jesus told you, we're going to go what Jesus said, sisters and brothers. All scripture is given for, it's given. Ain't no man came up with this. The same spirit that says, seek you out of the book of the Lord, told the same men, told the different writers and uh, authors of the Bible, and said, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. There is no such thing as a minor prophet. We're going to bust that live tonight. If they are in the book, they are major. Come on, Dre. That all the man of God may be perfect and thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That the man. So God said, I said before you, life and blessing, death and a curse. True. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Let's go, Dre. First Peter. First Peter, the first chapter. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. It is inspired by God. This wisdom is too high for us. Who you think gave it to Moses? Who you think gave it to John? All scripture is given by inspiration of God. That's right. And it's profitable for a doctrine. What doctrine? The gospel of the kingdom of God. Any doctrine other than that is not the, uh, it's, 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 the Pharisees had a doctrine too. But the doctrine of the Pharisees was the doctrine of hypocrisy. That's why Jesus kept calling them hypocrites. Yes, sir. Because they say and will not do. Yeah. Yes, sir, brother. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Dre. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Who we? I said First Peter, Dre. First Peter, the first chapter. Give me uh, Second Peter. I'm sorry. Second Peter. I'm sorry, sisters and brothers. Wipe that out. Wipe that out. Second Peter, the first chapter. Yes, sir. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, sisters and brothers, for corrections, to correct us. That's why he gave you the Ten Commandments to identify what sin is. The Ten Commandments are not sin. They identify what sin is. Sin is the transgression of the law. First John 3, 3rd chapter, verse 4. And it starts with whosoever. Israel and the stranger. Man, that the for instruction in righteousness, the Ten Commandments is instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, because God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And then over time, once you overcome yourself in the world, he going to change your vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Dre, first, second Peter 1, and pick it up at verse, oh man, look what the Lord showed Peter. 2 Peter 1 and 13. Go ahead. 2 Peter 1 and 13. Yea, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle uh -huh. to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. Uh -huh. Knowing that shortly I must put off this, my tabernacle, even I, as... Hello, Dre. Hello, Dre. I want to... Peter saying, I want to remind y'all that as long as I'm in this flesh and blood body, as long as I am alive, mm -hmm. to stir you up by putting you, and remember, that's like he told you, remember the Sabbath day? Remember, remember the scriptures. The Lord gave you a big brain. You can memorize every page in this Bible if the Lord bless you, if you ask for it. Yes, sir. Ask, and it shall be given. He can't lie. Mm -hmm. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, it shall be open. Come on, Jay. Knowing this shortly, I must, I'm going to die. I must put off this, my tabernacle. I'm going to die. Even, how did Peter find out, Dre? Go ahead. Even as the Lord Jesus Christ has showed me. Let God teach you, sisters and brothers. 
graduate tonight from the carnal flesh and blood mind that's kicking against the law, that wants to celebrate Christmas, Christmas, that wants to observe Easter, and you know rabbits don't lay eggs. You know this. Get up with, come out of the world. You in the world, but you don't have to be of the world. So therefore, the Lord showed Peter that I'm, a, I'm not going to be here when he come back. But uh, Peter, I want you to write to the people and remind them that, what, Dre, 15? Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able, after my decease, after I'm gone, things. after I'm buried. I want you to remember the Lord that put it on me to remind y'all after I'm dead and buried to what, Dre? To have these things always in remembrance. Have these things always in remembrance because all scripture is given by inspiration of God. Remember, this is the New Testament. Go ahead, Dre. What do Peter want us to know? For we have not followed cunningly devised fables uh -huh. we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the gospel of the kingdom of God. The gospel is the good news. What good news? The Lord is going to take over this crooked world, fix it, put everybody in the lake of fire, and set it up for the Father. I want to remind you, sisters and brothers, what is the gospel? A son Unto us a son is born. Unto us a son is given. His name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. That is the name of his title, but the name is Jesus. From Jehovah to the name Jesus, because that name is higher than any other name. Them brothers gonna mock yesterday. Are y'all saying that it's two gods? Yes. Jay, put everybody in the lake of fire that belong in the lake of fire. To put everybody in the lake of fire that belong in the lake of fire, which was yes, not sir. made for man. That's right. But for made for Satan and his angels. Yes, sir. The brothers gonna mock yesterday. Well, brother, uh, are you trying to say uh, 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 that there are, are two gods? The Lord our God is one. Yeah, one mind, one body, one accord. Yes, the Lord sir. our God is one, brother. Yes, sir. Okay, but what did he tell you in Genesis the second chapter? He said when Adam put Adam to sleep, operated on him, and took his wheel. He said and brought it to Adam. Adam called a woman. For she shall be called, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Therefore, you shall no longer be twain, but you all shall be one flesh. What about that, That's Christian right. apologist? What about mm. that? Mm. You don't understand the definition or the title of God, family. It's the same thing as man. It's the same thing as horse. Everything in the horse family. Everything in the deer family, everything in the dog family, everything still one. You error not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. Dre, where we at? Uh, verse 15. 16 again. 16? Yeah. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the coming power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the oh, gospel of the kingdom of God. Of coming, the, the coming of the government of God wherein there is no shutdown. Never a shutdown. Go ahead, Dre. 17. For he received from God the Father honor and glory. Yes. There came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. Yes. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And the Great. voice came from heaven we heard uh -huh. when we were with him in the holy mount the, the lord said thou shalt not bear false witness peter is not bearing false witness he is telling you we were eyewitnesses we heard the voice we heard when the voice well when john and when john baptized and john heard it john saw it yes sir that's why the bible says that the kingdom of god set Suffering violence from where well, we're gonna read that. We're gonna read that from Moses to John, Jesus the Christ, <laughs> the author and finisher of our faith. What author from Moses, the first five books, to John, the book of the last book, Revelation, and all the prophets in between? Holy men wrote as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. 
Jesus told you in John 5, 39, search the scriptures. We're going to read it. Come on. We got to finish this, Drake. Come on. We have a more sure word of prophecy. Uh -huh. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place uh -huh. until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. It is written in the book of Revelation that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Brother Julius, why you read that book? Why you worship that God? Because none of it's the book of the Lord and not a, none, of, none of his prophecy has or will ever fail. But the book already done concluded. Let the word of God be true and every man a liar. Come on, Dre. Knowing this first, that uh -huh. no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Read, Dre. The prophecy came not in old time by the uh -huh. will of man. Uh -huh. But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Let's go to St. John, the fifth chapter. Let's look at a holy man of God. A holy man of God. Holy men of God moved at the or they were as they were moved or instructed by the word of God. St. John 5. Here's another instruction. Verse 39, Dre. St. John 5 and 39. Search the scriptures. Search what? Search the scriptures. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. We have not followed cunningly the by fable. Holy men wrote as they were moved or instructed by the Holy Ghost. And the purpose of the Holy Ghost is to lead and guide you into all truth. You cannot tell me you are full of the Holy Ghost. You don't keep no feast days. You don't keep the Lord's Sabbath. You don't keep your own Sunday. You're washing your car. You're washing your clothes. You're going to the laundromat. You're doing this. You're going to the baseball. You're doing all your pleasure. You don't even honor your great, great. What verse am I? Verse 39. Read it, brother. Search the scriptures, for uh -huh. in them ye think ye have eternal life. Uh -huh. And they are they which testify of me. And they are they which testify of me. From Genesis to Revelation, from Moses to John. Everybody in between testified of Jesus. Oh, Dre, Dre, Dre. Verse 40, Dre. And ye will not come to me. Uh -huh. That you might have life. So I'm gonna do this right here. When I come in the flesh, I'm gonna do something real that's gonna really make y'all mad. Verse 43, read. I am come in my father's name, and you uh -huh. receive me not. Uh -huh. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. You believe the Catholic Church in this whole doctrine. You believe in Sunday. You don't believe what the father gave the son to give to the angel to give to John. You don't believe what the father gave to the son to give to the angel that talked in the bush to Moses. You don't believe none of that. None of it. I am come in my father's name. I told you, do the test. You don't think that name is great? He told you in Malachi, the first chapter, verse 11, from the rising of the sun, that's the east, to the going down in the same, that's the west. My name shall be great among the Gentiles. Gentiles run the world now. The greatest name among the Gentiles is the name Jesus. Israel, who you kick against to your own hurt. That's okay. It's already written. Unto me, every knee is going to bow, and unto, and every tongue is going to confess. You're going to confess. You're going to confess. You're going to call upon the name of Jesus. He's going to throw you in the fire. Dre, verse 46, uh, verse 45, 45 to 47. Go ahead. Let's look at, uh, let's look at this right here. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. Uh -huh. There's one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. Because Moses wrote the first five books. After Moses wrote the first five books, there was nothing left to write. Everything, everybody. Think about it. This is a man that went into the mountain not for 40 days and 40 nights, not just once, but twice. You think all he gave Moses was the Ten Commandments? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Moses didn't come up with this on his own. The Lord inspired Moses to write this. On two tables of stone, Moses got mad at Israel, cast the stone down the mountain and broke the stone. Come on back. I'm going to write the same words. This time you bring them stones up and I'm going to write the, you hear them out. And I'm, and I'm going to write the same words 
the Ten Commandments. Because yes. the Ten Commandments is the governor that governs the whole world. Whether you go to church or not, you are living by the Ten Commandments. You don't even know it. Drink, come on. For had you believed Moses, you would have believed me. For Why, Drake? For he wrote of me. So Moses is dead and the Lord buried him. He is not up in heaven. So them two witnesses are for those who believe that it's going to be Moses and Elijah. They both dead. They both dead. But they're going to be in the first resurrection. How could they be here and alive when the first resurrection, resurrection have not happened yet? Trey, verse 47. But if ye believe not his writings, uh -huh. how shall you believe my words? So now, Israel, it's time for us to stop this foolishness and do our job. Let's go and look what our job is, Dre. Exodus the 19th chapter. Exodus the 19th chapter. I said, boy, that's why I can't, I, I can't be on club. I don't have the patience. I would not cast my pearl before swine, sisters and brothers. When I hear a brother or sister tell me, I don't want to hear it. Okay, have a good day. If the audience wants to hear it, because I know the word of God, no return void. But as far as somebody that wants to mock and challenge and mute, when, I'm, when my job is to instruct you in righteousness so that you can save your life and work out your own salvation, and you don't want to hear it, have a nice, have a nice life, maybe. Because you're going to live forever. The day you come out your mother's womb, you live forever. You die the first death, that's the grave. That's that's merciful. It's so merciful, you say rest in peace. Second death, he's going to raise you up, cast you into the lake of fire with them plagues and them worms and that heat. Exodus 19, verse 1. And then we're going to skip to verse 4. Exodus 19, verse 1. In the third oh, month. Yes. When the children of Israel were going forth out of the land of Egypt, yes. the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. Go ahead, Dre. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bare you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Yes. The Lord chose, got Israel, got him in a nation out of another nation. Same color people, different Serving uh, uh, same color people, but the Lord is picking the people unto Himself. Go ahead, Dre. Now, therefore, if you will hark, you will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant. Then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. For all the earth is mine. If you listen to my voice and obey my voice, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. Above all people, for all the earth is mine. Go ahead, Dre. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests uh -huh. and holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. The purpose of being a priest of God is to intercede on behalf of all people to the God of Israel. He showed you that in 1 Kings, the 8th chapter, when Solomon was praying. Oh, my gosh. It's to intercede and to teach all nations what thus said the Lord. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. For all the earth, these are the words which you shall speak. I didn't pick you to go out there, march and protest and raise hell and record everything on a, on a phone that's violent so you can go viral. Mm. Why don't you take your phone and make this lesson go viral? How about that? Man. So now, Malachi 2, Dre, one verse there. Malachi 2. I want you to be, I want you, you're going to be a priest to me, a peculiar treasure. Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament. Malachi chapter 2. Dre, when you get it, Malachi chapter 2. Who wants to hear angry priests, sisters and brothers? You out there talking about some, the white man is the devil. But you forgot, and the white man worship devils. But you forgot to read in Leviticus where the book said Israel taught the wicked one that Israel sacrificed the devils first. How can you never say that, people in purple and gold? Mm. 
I ain't trying to pick no fight. I'm trying to see get you to see you. Malachi 2, Dre, give me verse 7. Understand, when the Lord made Israel a priest, and when he set the nations up, look what he did, Dre, in verse 7. Go ahead. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. Yes. And they should seek the law at his mouth. The Lord said, he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. He is the what? Messenger of the Lord of hosts. That's why all nations got to come to the priest. All nations got to come to the priest. When the most, when the, the for the priest's lips should keep knowledge, not ignorance. You say you're a priest of God. Why are you in the Sunday church? Why are you bowing down to a statue of Mary or a statue of so-called Malibu Jesus? Why you got the rosary beads on? Why do you have the image of the cross <laughs> tattooed on your body, which is an image of an instrument of capital punishment and torture? I'm not a judge. I'm not a judge. The Lord didn't say, uh, 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 wear the cross. He said, take up your cross. Be willing to die. Crucifixion is a method of capital punishment, sisters and brothers. It has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Nothing. The cross is not holy. It is unholy. Oh, my goodness. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge at verse 7, and they shall seek the law. Or the commandments at his mouth, not hatred and ridicule and belittling people. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts, just like the Lord told you in Ezekiel, in Ezekiel, the third chapter, son of man, I have set you as a watchman to the house of Israel. Yes, sir. Warn the people of me. Jonah, you go and warn the Ninevites. In Jonah, the first chapter, woe, warn the Ninevites. That in 40, if they don't repent in 40 days, I'm going to destroy them and they land. Genesis to Revelation, we are the priests. How is it that we have got off into sun worship and moons? Uh, you got the crescent star and the and the quarter moon on your uh, uh, on your on your body and on your head gear, and you gonna say you worship the God of Israel? And I told you, don't worship the host of heaven. Mm. I told you this lesson is gonna drive some. It might draw some, but we read we the priests, not judge. I'm, I'm reading the books, sisters and brothers. So now, whew, let's look at what Moses, what the Lord had Moses write to the nations, make the nations understand. Deuteronomy 32, Dre. Deuteronomy 32, I got one verse there. Deuteronomy 32. Brother Julius is, 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 is hot tonight. He's on, no, no, no. It, 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 I'm grieved, sisters and brothers. I understand how the Lord feels. I understand because you speak righteousness and the world persecutes you. If that's what it takes, then so be it. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy 32, Dre, 32 and verse 8. Look what Moses, remember, from Moses to John, the kingdom of God suffered violence because people hate truth. When the priest step on the scene, people don't like that. You tell them to keep the dietary law. Oh, man. Uh, I'm, I don't care what you say. I'm eating my scripts and my catfish and my lobster and my crab. Man, man, bring out, bring out that ham. Bring out that ham. Bring out that ham. But, Dre, verse 8 again. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, uh -huh. set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. When the Lord gave the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. But people don't understand that. Let me go, let me show you one non Israelite that really understood when she was properly taught. Let's go mm -hmm. to 13, Dre, the 10th chapter. First Kings, the tenth chapter. The wisest man who ever lived was Solomon. First Kings, chapter ten. First Kings, chapter ten. 
Ooh we look at this look at this very famous person who the world lie on and says she slept with Solomon and you can't read that. Where you get that from? Not out of this Bible. First Kings 10, Dre. We're gonna do some reading. Let's go, brother. Start at verse one. And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. Uh -huh. And she came to Jerusalem with a very great train and kept with camels. No, she came to Mecca. Places. She came to Mecca. No, she came to Jerusalem. Read, brother. With camels that bear spices uh -huh. and very much gold uh -huh. and precious stones. Uh -huh. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. Did she sleep with Solomon, Dre? Did it say she slept with Solomon and up on his bed? No, it didn't. Did bro. she lie in Solomon's chest? No, she didn't. She did what, Dre? She communed with him of all that was in her heart. She communicated with everything with him. She questioned him with everything that was on her mind. The heart is a blood pump. Go ahead, Dre. And Solomon told her all her questions. Uh -huh. There was not anything hid from the king, which he told her not. Uh -huh. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom uh -huh. and the house that he had built and the meat of his table yes. and the sittings of his servants and the attendance of his ministers uh -huh. and their apparel and his cupbearers and his accent uh -huh. by which he went up unto the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. Why? Because and Solomon said to the king, because Solomon had answered all her questions because he was a priest king. Yes, sir. A kingdom of priests. David, a kingdom of priest king. David wrote Solomon. Uh, David wrote uh, 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 some of the Proverbs. David Wrote the Psalms, prayers, a priest king. Until we lost the kingship, now we're on the bottom. Mm. Dre, finish, read that verse again for me. Verse five, and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers and their apparel and his cupbearers and his accent uh -huh. by which he went up Unto the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, It was a true report that I heard in mine own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Yes. How be it? I believe not the words until I came and mine eyes had seen it. Come on, Dre. The half was not told me. Man, they ain't told me half. Of what I have seen. Go ahead, Dre. Thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which I heard. Because the priest's lips should keep knowledge. That is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, sisters and brothers. Come on, Dre. Happy are thy men. And when the nation are these, when, when, we teach, when we teach the world right, sisters and brothers. They are house by house, neighborhood by neighborhood, family by family. And they come out of their sins and they acknowledge the God of Israel. And they say, I'm going to learn. I'm going to start keeping the Sabbath day. I'm going to obey. I'm going to keep the Lord's feast days. Then what they going to be, Dre, at verse 8? Happy are thy men. Uh -huh. Happy are these thy servants. Yes. Which stand continually before thee uh -huh. that here. Thy wisdom. And that hear the wisdom that the Lord have given to holy men spoke as they were moved by the Spirit of God. Yes, sir, brother. Dre, look what else yes. that Solomon, look what else that Solomon shared with her, Dre. Come on, come on. Let's be the Lord thy God. Sister which brother, delighted in thee. Dre, the people hate the name of Israel where we go because the people that said purple and gold have spent on there and polluted his name. Tell my, they gonna bow down and kiss our feet. Tell my, kiss my feet. Shame on you. Shame on you. 
when you do this thing right, sisters and brothers, the people are blessed because they're going to be happy because they're going to find out they have been given falsehood, myths, and lies all their lives. Now they know that reindeer don't fly. They know that Santa Claus don't, uh, 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 can't no man fly around the earth in one night and put toys in there because they now they are happy. Happy are thy men because they don't heard the wisdom of God. Great. Bless then, me, on top Lord. of that, they are going to glorify God. We can't take the glory. We're not worthy of it. We That's are right. just mouthpieces, and we supposed to be ambassadors for Christ, sisters and brothers. And verse nine, Dre. Verse nine. Go ahead. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighteth in thee to, to, to set what? thee on the throne of Israel. Yes. The Lord loved Israel forever. Yes. yes. Therefore made he thee king to do judgment and justice. I'm going to show you something, sisters and brothers. The book says, the queen of Sheba said, bless me the Lord thy God, which delighted thee to set thee on the throne of Israel. Whose throne was it? We're going to oh. leave here, Dre. We're going to leave here and we're going to go to 2 Chronicles, Second Chronicles, the ninth chapter, and we're going to read the same story, but we're just going to read one verse. Oh, my goodness, sisters and brothers. Oh, oh my goodness. I, I, I should have told you the whole First Kings, the 10th chapter, because we're going to come right back there. Second Chronicles chapter 9. Second Chronicles. See, we got two witnesses. We got two witnesses. The scribe that wrote here in Kings and the scribe that wrote here in Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 9. Second Chronicles. Let me show you something. Remember what we just read. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee to set thee on the throne of Israel. Look what the Queen of Sheba said at 2 Chronicles 9 and verse 8. The same story, but look with one little detail. Watch this, Drake. And Solomon showed her this. Go ahead. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighteth in thee to set thee on his throne. Oh, not just the throne of Israel. Solomon sat on the Lord's throne yes, to sir. do what, Ray? To be king for the Lord thy God. Why? Because thy God loved Israel. Because thy God loved Israel, yes. To establish them forever. Why? Therefore made he thee king over them to do judgment and justice. Now, Dre, now, Dre, skip down to verse, go, hold on, hold on a minute. Man, back up to First King, back to First King, the tenth chapter, and I got two verses there. See, when you teach the word of God right to the stranger, you are not supposed to drive them away. There, and when you do it right and make them feel included, and you do it in the spirit of love, in the in the spirit of humility, and showing them that you're no better than them, you just happen to be the priest of the Lord. They are not to glorify you. You don't never take the credit. They are going to glorify God. And then they're going, I have witnessed this, sisters and brothers. The Mexicans on my job, in the middle of the emergency room, they said, Brother Julius, is that you? Uh, yeah, do we know each other? Man, I heard your lesson and we found you. We found you. My husband don't eat this no more. My husband don't do that no more. I said, how is that? Because we listened to the lesson you did on the dietary law. We have found you. I say, praise God, praise God. You found God. To God be the glory. Dre, 1 Kings 10, 23 and 24. Come on, Dre. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for uh -huh. riches and for wisdom. Yes. And all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom. Yes. God put in his heart. That's the way it was supposed to be. Tell like all the world, Jesus' fame went through all Judea and all throughout all Israel and beyond. That's why they came to him, to be healed, to came to hear the gospel of the kingdom of God, not to be ridiculed, stepped upon, kissed his feet, and, 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 and be cast into the called devils. Audrey, Audrey. We got to get ready to get out of here. Matthew, the 24th chapter. Matthew, chapter 24. 
Oh my gosh. I had to put this lesson together in one day, sisters and brothers. Praise God. I had to put it together because it, I was really, I was heated. I was heated. The people would not, they kept muting Brother Jacob. They wouldn't hear nothing that he got to say. He said, please stop muting me. Don't mute me. Let me speak. Let me speak. Are you saying that there's two guys? Yes, the father and the son. They both occupy the estate, the title called God, and they owe both. Uh, that's why Jesus told you in St. John 17, give me back the glory. He prayed to his father in the flesh and said, I'm coming back to you. Give me back the glory that I had with thee before the world was. Yes, sir. Because they don't understand the definition of God, just like they don't understand the definition of man. It is every male and female on the planet. It's a species. God is a family. So far, only two. The Holy Spirit is not God. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. The Holy Spirit is not God. He is sent. He is a messenger that stands in the presence of God. Because he don't sit on the left hand of the Father. But the Son sits on his right hand. The Lord said unto my Lord, and God, even thy God, has anointed to me. Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are not mine, but my Father that sent me. Yes, sir, brother. Matthew 24, 27. Matthew 24, 27. Look, look, look at this, Dre. Look what's going to happen. 24 and 27. Go ahead, brother. But as lightning cometh out of the east and uh -huh. shineth even onto the west, uh -huh. so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Skip down to verse 29, Dre. When is it going to happen? Immediately after the tribulation of those days uh -huh. shall the sun be darkened, uh -huh. and the moon shall not give a light, uh -huh. and the stars shall fall from heaven, yes. and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, yes. and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, uh -huh. and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, north, from south, one east, end of heaven north to the other. south, east, and west. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Dre. Now learn the parable of the that's field. Good, brother. That, that's good, Dre. Verse uh, 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 29, 29 to keep going, keep going. Uh, at verse, I because I want you to see at verse 35, verse 30, 34, 34, 34, and 35, Dre. Go ahead. Verily I say unto you, yes, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Come on, Heaven and earth shall pass away, uh -huh. but my word shall not pass away. Man, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word, B-I-B-L-E, and everything within it, the pages of this Bible, is not going to pass away until all things are done. Because the Lord gave this word to all mankind. Israel just happens to be his priest. That's it. Now, Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, Dre. If you were not here, Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter. Deuteronomy, chapter 30. Tell me, we're Christian. Tell my Christian apart. Whatever you are, you better, you better take heed. You better take heed. It's hard to kick against, kick against the pricks. You're going to break your foot. Deuteronomy 30, and we're going to deal with 19, and we're going to work backwards a little bit, bro. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 19. So now he told you, I command thee at verse 16 to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgment, that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land where thou goest to possess it. But, verse 19, Dre, let's look at these two witnesses. Go ahead. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Uh -huh. That I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Sisters and brothers, the Ten Commandments are set before us and recorded. It is for us to... For, so that we can identify what sin is. It is not sin. Those laws are not sin. They identify what sin is. The wages of sin is death. 
So he said, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. Keep the commandments and live, break the commandments and die, even the second death. Adam already done showed you the first death, which brought up all on us and all the animals got to die. Everything in the creation got to die. Maybe, maybe. Oh. I'm going to leave that alone. Dre, back up in verse 17. 17. But if you were not here, read, Dre. But if thine heart turn away so that thou would not hear, uh -huh. but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. Because it's going to be a great falling away from the truth. We got warned of that. Go ahead, Dre. I denounce unto you this day uh -huh. that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whether thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. And when you go overseas, you're not going to enjoy these days. Because mm. you're going to go into captivity just like we have, just like the Lord called it upon us. Let's look at another, let's look at another witness. Now, the book says Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. So the author, he had Moses write it. And the word that Jesus wrote was not here, but the Father. So the Father is the author. Jesus, the Christ, is the ambassador that makes. So he's the CEO of man. The Father don't deal with flesh and blood. Go down there and give them my word and instruct them in righteousness and show them the wages of sin. Revelation, the first chapter. Remember. I give you, I said before you, heaven and earth to, to record against you. This gospel is preached as a witness. Now, Revelation, the first chapter, let's look at the finisher. Jesus Christ is the Lord and finisher, author and finisher of our faith. He gave you Moses and he gave you John to record these things. Moses gave you the first five books. The prophets filled in the Faces of the book in between, and then to John. Revelation 1 and 1, Dre. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave on to him. If you got a one of them old Bibles that said the revelation of St. John the Divine, no, no, it is not John's revelation. That is a topic above the title. <coughs> Pardon me. What do the scriptures say, Dre? The revelation of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Which God gave unto him to uh -huh. show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Uh huh. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. Remember, we started this in Isaiah 34. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Not a one of them shall fail, for my spirit had gathered them. Hear the word that the father gave to the son and the son gave it to the angel and the angel gave it to Israel. So now, sent by his angel unto his servant John, the protocol cannot, cannot, cannot be broken. Verse 2, Dre, because Moses told you, I testify to you, I call heaven and earth to record or to testify to you this day. Now, let's look at John record this. Go ahead. Who bear record of the word of God uh -huh. and of the testimony of Jesus Christ yeah. and of all things that he saw. Yeah. Go ahead. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. If you are, if some false prophet has instructed you not to book, read the book of Revelation, whatever church that is, leave. Because yes, you sir. just block your blessing. Wait a minute. Blessed is he that read it and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. We yes, living sir. in the last days. You're looking at the earth getting worse and worse. Dre. Dre. Yes, sir. Revelation of the 20th chapter, brother. Revelation of the 20th chapter. Man, Bible, basic instructions before life eternal. 
Keep my commandments and live. What is the whole duty of man, Dre? Hey, fear God and keep his commandments. What can I read that in? That's in Ecclesiastes 12. So 13 and 14. So the Lord had the wise man to write that I, I just like Peter said, after my demise, keep this remembrance. Remember what Solomon wrote. He said, because he's gonna bring every work into judgment. Oh my god. Whether goodness. it be good or whether it be evil, man. Every work. So Dre. If you keep his commandments, if you keep his basic instructions before life eternal, what's going to happen? What is your reward? Verse eternal life. Revelation 20 and 4. Let's read it to him. Okay, brother. Let's read it to him. You're right. Go ahead. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, uh -huh. and judgment was given unto them. So they were the judges. Yes, sir. They were, the, they were now judges. Jesus is not going to do this millennial reign by himself. He's going to didn't he tell you, don't the book tell you, and Daniel, uh, what is it, Daniel, he tells you in the book of Daniel, he told you the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the saints of the most high. Yes, sir. Saints, look what you're going to have. Go ahead. I and saw I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus uh -huh. and for the word of God, uh -huh. and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, Neither had received his mark upon uh -huh. their foreheads uh -huh. or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Oh, my goodness, Dre. Skip down to verse six. Read it. Go ahead. Blessed and holy is he that uh -huh. had part in the first resurrection, on such the second death has no power. The second death is the lake of fire, lake of fire Dre. The sisters and brothers, the second death is the lake of fire. You don't have to go there. Seek you out of the book of the Lord and read. We already been instructed that you don't go out and go to Jerusalem and get it. You ain't got to go up to heaven and get it. You ain't got to go under the earth and get it. The word is right there in, the, in your lap. The word is right there at the library. The word is right there at the hospital. The word is right there at the hotel. Them hotels got Bibles. Oh, my goodness. For the second death has no power, but what, Dre? But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and he, shall there reign we go with the priest again. A thousand years. There we go with the priest again. You cannot get around the principles of the priest, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Yes, sir. Man, man, Dre. But if you don't be found written in the Lord's book of life. What's going to happen to you at verse 15? And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So let's go, Dre, to our last scripture. Let's go to our last scripture. Yes, sir. Revelation, the 21st chapter. Revelation 21. Basic instruction before life eternal. See, everybody wants to get Go to heaven. You can't read that. You can't read that. There are two kingdoms of God. There are, God is one. It's one title, but it's shared by two beings. The one known as the father and the one that became known as son. It was not father and son in the beginning. It was just God. That's why Revelation, uh, 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 Genesis 1 says, in the beginning, God. That's right. Then, at 26, he said, and God said, let us create man in our image. Oh, my goodness. That's right, brother. And let them have dominion. You're not just put here to live and die. You are put here to learn how to be born into the very spirit family of God so that you can become very God. The Lord wants to share eternity with a whole planet of God and whatever that is in the lake of fire. Dre, let's look at it happen. Now, what well, everything that we read was Jesus, the Christ kingdom. When we read in Matthew, immediately after those days, the sun shall be darkened. That would be the beginning of the reign of Christ after the after what he calls the day of the Lord, which is the wrath of God upon all those who persecute his saints. 
The great tribulation is Satan's masterpiece upon the service of God. The wrath of God or the day of the Lord is the wrath of God when he begins to intervene in man's affairs and take over the kingdoms of this world and rule it for a thousand years. Now, let's look at New Jerusalem coming. This is our last scripture. Let's look at New Jerusalem coming. Revelation 21, which is the Father's kingdom. You know how you say, our Father, which art in heaven, thy kingdom come. Let's look at it, Dre. Revelation 21 and 1. Come on, brother. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Yes. So the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Yes. And there was no more sea. See, this is the Father's kingdom. The heaven and the earth will still be here. It's just going to roll back till the Lord come and on this earth and then come back together. Because the book says a child shall die at a at 100 years old because death will still, flesh and blood will still be here doing Jesus the Christ reign. Now, after Jesus said everything, the, everybody in the lake of fire, the father bring New Jerusalem, deal with Russia, burn them up. The father brings his kingdom down you know, that house of many mansions where Jesus said, where I go, you can't go. He told you in my father's house are many mansions. But where I go, you can't go. I'm going to bring the mansion down to you. Read the mansion, Dre, in verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, uh -huh. and there were no more sea. Because that's for flesh and blood. The water's for flesh and blood. Read, Dre. And I saw the holy city, Read it New again. Jerusalem. Start again at verse 2. And I saw the holy city. Start again at verse 2. And I, and I John. There you go. Don't miss a word. Yes, because sir. we got to get this record. John is recording. Go ahead, Dre. And I, John, saw the holy city. Yes. New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven. Oh, okay. now I understand what I'm saying. When Jesus told us how to pray, when you pray, pray on this pray. Pray on this wise. Our Father, which art in heaven, thy kingdom come. Yes, sir. Thy will be done on earth. What is his will? Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them overcome themselves and the world. And then to him that overcome, will I grant to sit with me in my throne? That's a thousand years. That's the judges. That's now, right. I didn't promise you the father's throne. I promise that you're going to be in his kingdom, his house of many mansions, 1,500 miles high, wide, and long. Dre, I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, doing what? Coming down from God out of heaven. Come on, Dre. Prepared as a yes. bride adorned for her husband. Yes. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. That angel still working. The tabernacle of God is with men. You're going to be God then, but he wrote men to show you that you used to be men, but men die. The tabernacle of God is going to now be with a whole planet in the kingdom, on the right side of the kingdom, God is going to be with God. He showed you the example. The Lord said unto my Lord, and God, even thy God, Jesus is the firstborn of many brethren. John said, I saw a number that no man can number. Of all nations, tongues, and languages, nobody is left out. Israel. Come That's on, Dre. Right. Come on, Dre. And Dre. he will dwell with them and they shall be his people, uh -huh. and God himself shall be with them. You ain't going up to God. heaven to live with God. God is coming down from heaven to live with you. Yes, sir, brother. Bust this lie about a rapture. You can't read that in the scriptures. You can't read where you go up to heaven. My grandmother knows your grandmother's in the grave where you saw her. You know she's in the grave because every year you go and put flowers on the grave. You don't take no flowers to heaven. Oh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Here, Israel, physical and spiritual. Here, what the Lord tell God speak unto you through his word. And the tabernacle of God shall be with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. 
That's Dre, right. verse four. Come on, Dre. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. No more heart attacks. No more strokes. No more hunger. No more poverty. No more sickness. No more disease. No more depression. No more suicide. No more hurt. No more pain. For the former things I passed away, do you believe? Send me some thumbs up. Send me some 1,000s, not hundreds. Send me some 1,000s if you agree what the book say. The former things are passed away, sisters and brothers. You are here eternally now. Your God is with you. Man, this is Your great. Christ is with you. Now you with him. Now you are all one. What a court. All liars, all thieves, all adulterers, all fornicators, all murderers shall have their part in the lake of fire. But you're going to have everlasting joy. Dre, Dre, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. And God shall wipe away all tears from uh -huh. their eyes. And there shall be no more death, uh -huh. neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. No more politics, only the righteousness of God. The kingdom of God is not what you wear. The kingdom of God is not wearing pants. The kingdom of God is not meats. The kingdom of God is not drinks. The kingdom of God is righteousness, sisters and brothers. Yes, sir. He that hath an ear, let him hear. He that have eyes, let him see. Dre verse, verse, Dre, verse five. Verse five, Dre. And he that sat upon the throne said, Yes. Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Yes. yes. Dre, and verse seven, Dre. Verse seven. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Because Jesus is the firstborn of many brethren. He your big brother. He is your intercessor. He is now our high priest. Oh, Come on, brother. Dre, verse 10, Dre. Verse 10. Verse 10. Yes. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy what does Jerusalem. Mean? That means that this room that you see now got to go. It's temporal. It's flesh and blood. And you want to go to Jerusalem? By all means, take a chance. He said, I'm going to make Jerusalem a cup of trembling. Anybody that's trying to make peace over there, I'm going to cut them asunder. It ain't going to be no peace. The Lord said, when I come back, it's going to be peace on earth and goodwill toward men. That's doing Christ's reign because flesh and blood will still be here. But when the Father brings new Jerusalem, behold, I make all things new. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is what, dear Dre? Death. Take away death. That's the grave. You have eternal life. That's right, brother. Jesus told you in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, the Father so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son that whosoever shall believe him in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, sisters and brothers, that the world through Jesus the Christ might be saved. That's right, Do you bro. believe this? Have yes, you not sir. known? Have you not heard? Is it not written before you? In the book of, seek you out of the book of the Lord and read. And verse 10, he carried me away, Dre, in the spirit to a great high mountain and showed me that great city. What is it called, Dre? New Jerusalem. Where are we at? Verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. And he carried me away in the yes. spirit to yes. a great and high mountain yes. and showed me that great city. Yes. The holy Jerusalem yes. descending out of heaven from God. Yes. Having the glory of having the glory of God yes. and her light was like unto a stone most precious, yes. even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Dre, what about, has God forgotten about us? Read, Dre. And had a wall great and high 
yes. and had 12 gates. Yes. And at the 12, and at the gates, 12 angels. Yes. And the names written thereon, which uh -huh. are the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. Because he told you in Deuteronomy 32 and 8, when the Lord gave the sons of Adam their inheritance, he did it according to the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, sir, brother. You got to come to through the Jesus is the door, an Israelite of the tribe of Judah. Oh, Lord, remember me for this. Dre, 22, we got to go. 22, read. And I saw no temple therein. Uh -huh. The Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And Jesus, the Christ king kingdom, he going to have a temple. But in the Father's kingdom, you going to be the temple. Come on, Dre. And the city had no need of the sun, uh -huh. neither of the moon to uh -huh. shine in it. Uh -huh. And the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. Because when he, he gave you the sun, stars, and moon, remember the book said in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And then he tell you about the sea. And then he said, let there be light. Then later on, he, he said the evening and the morning were the first day. Then turned around and told you that in the same chapter that he put three lights to rule the, on the fourth day, he created the sun, moon, and stars. So we got a light. Then he created lights to give light upon the earth for flesh and blood, Dre. Finish it, Dre. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. Uh -huh. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor. Start that at 24 again. Start that at 24 again. And the nations of them which are saved. Where do you, where do you get that from? Only Israel going to be saved. Where did you get that from? That only Israel going to be saved. And the nation of them which are what? Saved. Go ahead. Shall walk in the light of it. Yes. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. Yes. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, and there shall be no light, no night there. Because everybody going to shine, your glorified body, you're going to shine, sisters and brothers, as the firmament of the heaven, you're going to shine. Dre, skip down to verse 27, and I just thank everybody for their time. Come on, Dre. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defile it. Neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Tonight you heard the gospel of the kingdom of God brought to you from the law, old, and the New Testament, the testimony, and everybody in between. From the author, a finisher of our faith, Jesus the Christ, which the words he got from his father. I pray that somebody was enlightened. And if somebody was offended, be offended enough to read and save yourself. Repent, turn to the Lord. And if you lack understanding, ask and it shall be given. Yes, sir. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open. I just want to thank everybody. Dre, thank you, my brother, for standing in the gap. I had to get it off my chest. Man. Good job, brother. Give me your give me your word last week. What say you? I just say praise the Lord. I think it was a great lesson and, and it's well needed. And it, it replaces the mindset of basic instructions before leaving earth, which is, is not a truth. So basic instructions before life eternal. Fear God and keep his commandments. Whole duty of man. It's that simple. God gonna bring every work in the judgment, whether it be good or evil. Yes. So let's make our work good yes. by the spirit, by the spirit of God that dwells in us, his engrafted word. Let us walk in it all the way into the kingdom of God is my prayer for all of us. Well spoken, my brother. Thank you, everybody. Online, go back and watch it again. Subscribe, like, share, and post. May the Lord bless each and every last one of you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace. 
May the Lord show his countenance upon you and give you great peace. Enjoy the Lord's Sabbath day and fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. In Jesus' name we pray. God willing, we'll see you next Thursday on another episode of The Bob McGilead. We're going to start a four-week session, sisters and brothers, a four-week teaching. And Brother Sean, our producer, is going to make his debut on The Bob McGilead Bible Radio Show. And I believe it's going to be The Lamb of God series. Yes, sir. Part one, Brother Sean, our producer, the Lamb of God. Yes, sir. You don't want to miss this, sisters and brothers. Sean, give us our bomb. The bomb of Gilead, give me the remedy. Father, correct my path. The bomb of Gilead, you all that I ever need and all that I ever had. The bomb of Gilead, don't keep on healing me. Father, please have my back.